If you understand the basics of physical training and athletic performance, then you'll know that recovery is as important as the training itself. Without proper recovery, we'll limit our gains and run the risk of developing an injury. Ice baths, electrical muscle stimulation, massage and compression are among the most common and well-researched recovery methods to date. However, there is one recovery method that is probably more well-researched than any of the others, but it is only now starting to emerge as a legitimate player in athletes' recovery repertoires. It's called red and infrared light therapy, or photobiomodulation in the scientific literature. It was actually discovered in the 1960s by Dr. Andre Meester as a way to rapidly stimulate hair growth. However, the technology has since become popular in many medical fields and is now starting to find its way into the fitness and lifestyle industry due to its ability to stimulate the body's recovery process. So in this video, I'll take you through my review of the most popular portable red light therapy device, the Juve Go 2, and explain why it has become my daily go-to recovery tool. Okay, for those of you who are unaware of what red light therapy devices do and how they can benefit the body, I'll explain in summary. Red light therapy devices such as the Juve Go 2 emit specific red and the infrared light, which has been found to penetrate deep into the skin muscles and even into the bone tissues of the body. The ability of red light to penetrate through these various layers of our body can be demonstrated by doing a simple test using the flashlight of your phone. Notice that when I cover the light with my finger only a red color can be seen. This is because only the red light frequencies from the flashlight are making their way through the finger. Okay, so why does this matter? Well, light actually has a profound effect on the body, as it does on so many other living organisms in our world. Other than just converting purple-colored UV light into vitamin D, our body is able to use other light frequencies or colors for various purposes. In the case of red and infrared light, these light frequencies, particularly 660 nanometers and 850 nanometer wavelengths, which are emitted by the Juve Go 2, have been scientifically proven to effectively penetrate penetrate deep into the cells of various tissues and stimulate the mitochondria in the cells to produce ATP, which is basically a usable form of energy. In a way, we can compare this to how plants are able to use light to produce energy during photosynthesis. Anyway, the body is then able to use the extra energy produced by the mitochondria, thanks to the stimulation of the light, to upregulate various cell functions. So, for example, if a cell is busy repairing itself after exercise or injury, the extra ATP can accelerate that repair process. And because red and infrared light targets the mitochondria of the cells, our muscles, which have an extremely dense network of mitochondria, benefit hugely from this type of therapy. If you want to learn more about all the benefits of red light therapy in greater detail, then check out our video up here or follow the links down below. So what Juve has done is to take this red and infrared technology, which is usually only found in high powered and large LED panels, and fitted it into a compact battery powered travel device that can be used anywhere. The 2.0 in the Juve Go 2.0 stands for Generation 2 because it has replaced the previous version of this travel size device. There are numerous improvements and additional recovery features in the second generation, which is why it has now become my favorite daily recovery tool and why I decided to make this video. Let's run through these features and I'll explain how I use them in my daily routine to recover from exercise. So apart from the obvious improvements such as design, aesthetics of the device, the ability to control each function through Juve's new mobile app and Bluetooth 5.0, the inclusion of custom protective eyewear and the optional stand for hands-free treatment, the Juve Go 2 actually packs several greater and more sophisticated recovery features than those. I'll cover the most significant ones in detail now. So the biggest improvement Juve made to the second generation device is to include both red and infrared emitting bulbs into one appliance. In the past, you had to choose between a device that emitted only red light at 660 nanometers or one with only near infrared light at 850 nanometers. If you wanted both light spectrums, you had to obviously buy two different units. For those of you who are unaware of the basic difference between these two light frequencies, I'll briefly explain. Simply put, the red light has a shorter penetration depth than near infrared light. So if you want to target the skin and superficial muscle tissue, then the red spectrum of the light is more suitable. Near infrared light, on the other hand, can penetrate right through the skin and reach much deeper muscle tissues 
and even bone. The cool thing about having both light frequencies is that you can reach multiple layers of tissue at the same time. Furthermore, Juve took this feature to another level by adding their Recovery Plus mode. In this mode, instead of the light being continuous, it is pulsed. Pulsed light has been found in some studies to be more effective than continuous light. One theory as to why these improved results might occur has to do with the ability to avoid overheating the treated tissue when using a pulsed light. Let me explain. When cells receive red and infrared light, they are energized by that light and heat up as a side effect. Well, when the light is continuous, the heat has no chance to radiate out of the cells fast enough, causing the temperature of the tissues to continuously increase. If our body's tissues heat up too much, we can actually damage them, as can be commonly seen and felt when the skin is burned by the sun through an overly long exposure time. But now we are on a catch-22 because we also need enough light to penetrate each cell to provide a beneficial dose. That's where pulsed light comes into the picture. Basically, at each interval when the light is off, known as a quench period, the tissue is given a short window to cool down before it receives another dose of light. I like to think of it like touching something hot, such as a stovetop. If I just lay my hand on the hot plate, I'll obviously burn my skin. However, if I rapidly oscillate my hand back and forth, I'm able to still feel the heat, but prevent my hand from burning. So pulsed light still provides the cells with a good dose of light energy, but prevents them from overheating. This mode can be particularly helpful when you want to target specific tissue and need to get the device close to the body to increase the light intensity. Personally, I use the recovery mode to recover from my barefoot training. If you've followed this channel for a while, you'll know our philosophy of building athleticism from the ground up. We believe that if the feet are strong, the foundation of the body is strong. This is because all upright human movements are initiated through the feet. Therefore, I'm always working on my foot strength using the techniques and exercises described in our Strong Feet Strong Foundation program. The difficulty with this type of training though, is that it is very strenuous and thus puts a lot of pressure on the connective tissue and small intrinsic muscles in and around the feet. And because we are constantly using our feet all day long, they can easily fall into a recovery deficit if one is not careful about one's training and consistent with one's recovery regime. So I've been using the Recovery Plus function on the Juve Go under my feet and on the large Achilles tendons to enhance the recovery of my connective tissue and intrinsic foot muscles after barefoot training. But this device can obviously be used after all types of training. So if I've done a hard chest workout, for example, this device could be used to target the pectorals to enhance the recovery process in that area. The same could be said for other areas of the body. And because the Juvego 2 is portable and battery powered, this can be done anywhere and in almost any situation. But over and above my feet, I use it while I work at my standing desk. On the other body parts, I feel need a bit of attention. My lower back happens to be one of the areas I like to target frequently. Juve also makes full body red light therapy devices for home use. Discount links to these bigger panels along with this portable go-to device can be found by clicking one of our links down below in the description of this video. Moving on to the next new feature of the go-to I found myself using on a daily basis. That is the ambient red light function. Now, to understand the significance of this function, I must preface it with a short explanation about how our body is affected by light in general. So just as specific red and infrared light can stimulate the cells in our body to accelerate healing, other spectrums of light also affect the body in various ways. For example, blue light has been found to regulate our circadian rhythms or internal day-night clock. So when blue light enters the retina of the eyes, it sends a message to the penile gland that it is daytime and the body responds by suppressing the sleep hormone melatonin. Conversely, in the absence of blue light, the body responds by stimulating the penile gland to produce melatonin. Unfortunately, the fluorescent bulbs we use to light our homes at night emit blue light, which then artificially extends the daytime hours and suppresses melatonin production in our brains. The consequence is a potential disruption in our ability to sleep. It's no wonder that insomnia has become such a widespread problem nowadays. Now, red light does not influence our body's internal clock, 
and melatonin production in the same way as blue light. Therefore, a little biohack is to use only the warmer spectrums of light at night to light up your room. And this is where the ambient light function in the new Juvgo 2 becomes so useful. It enables one to emit a lower density of red light, down to 25% of its peak power, and use it to light up the room at night so that our sleep is not disrupted in any way. This has turned out to be one of my favorite functions of the new Juve device because as you know, good sleep is probably the most important factor for effective recovery. I believe their new larger panels also have this feature, which is cool. Basically what I do is I set the ambient red light function to 25% and on a timer for 60 to 90 minutes while I read at night. The cool thing about the timer is that I can fall asleep while reading or just lay my book down by my bed and fall asleep. This is also a great alternative for those who like to use a nightlight to fall asleep. The fact that the Go 2 has no internal fans also means that the device won't emit any disturbing noise while you're relaxing or trying to sleep. The final standout feature of the Juve Go 2 is its smart alarm function. Basically, you can use the device as a silent alarm clock, which wakes you up with red light in the morning. You can also set it so that it alerts you with sound and emits red light at the same time. Personally, I've really enjoyed waking up to the red light. It feels very natural, which makes sense since in nature, it is only red light that reaches us during sunrise and sunset. There is even scientific evidence indicating why it is beneficial for us to get a dose of red light during the sunrise and sunset period for both skin health and vitamin D absorption. We made a whole video on this topic. You can find this video up here or follow the links in the description. Okay, so despite all these amazing features, no product is perfect and the new Juve Go 2 is no exception. There are two things I'm not super fond of with this device. The first is the new proprietary charger. Unlike the previous version of the Juve Go devices which charge with regular type C cables, the Juve Go 2 comes with a proprietary charger. This means that I now have to keep yet another charger with me at all times. It also means that the overall footprint of the device in the carrying case Juve provides is a lot bigger than it would have been had they stayed with type C. From what I understand, this decision was based on the need to have a nine volt power supply as opposed to the standard five volt that is commonly found with mobile device chargers. The other problem I've been faced with is thermal issues. Due to the portability of this device, it has no fans, which means that after 10 minutes of treatment, the device switches to a cool down mode for 10 minutes before another treatment can begin. Juve was able to get around this issue in their previous version by making the casing out of metal, which helps conduct heat away from the core and radiate it out of the device. However, this new device is all plastic, which acts as an insulator of heat more than a conductor of it. While this might not be an issue for some, it has been a source of frustration for me when I want to use it on multiple areas of my body in one sitting. I wish they had built in some type of heat sink to make overheating less of an issue, or at least some temperature sensor in the device that would switch the Juve into cool down mode only when absolutely necessary. Nevertheless, these two negatives are not game changers for me and due to the Juve Go 2's effectiveness in terms of helping my muscles and other tissues recover from exercise, as well as the host of other related features it provides, I'll continue using it daily. If you want to get a discount on this device, then be sure to click on our links below. Also, just a quick disclaimer, Juve did send this device to me. However, they had absolutely no say in the review and I was free to send the device back to them if I didn't like it and did not want to do the review. But since I've been using Juve products for more than a year now and I've found light therapy to be very useful, both according to the scientific literature and in my personal experience, I feel totally comfortable making this video and recommending their products. Well, with that said, it concludes another one of our reviews. Let me know in the comments below what you would like us to review next. Please also like, share and subscribe if you got value from this video. Anyway, thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.